Hello. Welcome to Periscope, you guys. Today I am talking all about Pinterest and how to optimize your account um, so that your fans will find you on Pinterest. So just wait for a few more people to join here. And I'm excited to talk about this topic today. Um, two of my favorite current favorite social media platforms are intra Instagram and Pinterest. So I'm really, really excited to talk about Pinterest today. Should be fun. Um, if you use Pinterest for business, especially if you're in the e-commerce space, this could be really impactful and helpful to you to have your pins optimized so that your fans find you. So welcome everyone. My name is Andrea Jones. I'm a social media manager and community builder. And today I'm talking all about Pinterest now to optimize it so that your fans find you online. Um, but two little updates first. Number one is I have been killing it on Snapchat. So if you guys snap, who snaps? Double tap if you snap, because that's cool and rhymes. Um, my snap name is Online Drea, same as here, same as everywhere. Um, and, and Snapchat has been uber fun, uber fun lately. Um, I had it for personal before, never had it for business. And I actually like it more. I find it really easy to connect with people and network with people. So I'm on Snapchat. Uh, second update is that I have a really cool freebie uh, for my new followers here. It's uh, for businesses who are on a budget, right? So if you are on a, oh, hi, hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I feel so ADD sometimes with Periscope, like responding to comments. Um, but yeah, if you're a business and you're on a budget, I've got a guide that'll give you 21 ways you can maximize your marketing efforts without spending tons of money, right? So this is absolutely free. The guide is on my website. It's onlinedrea.com. If you pull up my website on any page, you can opt in to this freebie. And of course, you're also getting my newsletters that have other tons, tons of fun stuff just like this Periscope. Okay, so any page on my website, again, it's onlinedrea.com. Just my, like my username on here. Um, and you can grab that guide for free because I like you guys. Okay, uh, so today I'm talking all about Periscope and how to optimize your pins so that your fans find you on Periscope. Uh, sorry, Pinterest. Did I say Periscope before? I think I did. I'm in a Periscope phase. Okay, Pinterest. How can your fans find you on Pinterest if you're a business? This works really, really well. So we're talking about optimization, and the key to figuring this out is thinking of it as SEO, okay? Think of the Pinterest search engine as SEO. So if you're going to optimize your website, for instance, for for search engines like Google and Bing. When you upload images to your website, what do you do? You make sure that the image or the, the file that you're uploading to your website has your keywords in the file name. The same thing works with Pinterest and it works really well for keeping those keywords. So on Pinterest, when you upload a pin natively to Pinterest, make sure that your file name has keywords. So let's use an example. Um, one of my clients is a jewelry company. They sell like monogrammed jewelry. And a really good way to make sure that they have their keywords optimized is when I upload pins natively, I make sure that the word monogrammed is in the file name, right? Monogrammed, if, that, if that's what we're trying to rank for, especially monogrammed jewelry, okay? So that's the first step, is your pins, your actual pins, have to, oh, that was mean. Let me block that person, sorry. Um, <laughs> your actual pins have to be optimized when you upload them to Pinterest, okay, with the file name. The next thing that you can do to help optimize your pins so that your fans find you on Pinterest is you know how when you upload a pin, you have that little caption? In the caption, put your keyword there again. Now, there's a good way and a bad way to do this, okay? The bad way is just filling it with keywords, like um, if, you, if you have your caption say like personalized, monogram, jewelry, teens, girls, like it's, it's kind of lame. Um, but the way to optimize this is you can say, um, you know, uh, grab our oh-so-swell monogram jewelry, perfect for gifts, for 
uh, teens or daughters or something like that. Something that's cute and relates to your audience because you want, when, when you your audience finds your pins, you want them to repin it, of course. I mean, that's the whole beauty of Pinterest is that it can really, really explode from there. Um, and you don't want your pin to be repinned with like a really lame caption, okay? So change your caption so that it has your keyword in it, but make it cute. Make it, make it relatable to your audience. Okay, so our first way to optimize our pins was to use our keyword in the file name, okay? The second way we optimize our pins was to use our keyword in the caption. So in the file name and in the caption when you're uploading pins. The last way, super easy, is to pin it to a board that has the keyword in it. So if you have a, a board, well, you can make this cute too, like, you can have oh so small monogram pieces. That can be a name of a board. Hello, Willie. Um, and you can share your pins to that board and it helps with the algorithm on Pinterest. Hello from Dubai. What time is it in Dubai right now? I wonder as I sit here trying to do math in my head, which is not my strong suit. <laughs> um, so yeah. We are talking about Pinterest and optimizing the pins. Oh, 11.05 p.m. Well, it's almost bedtime for you. Um, okay, so we're talking back, back to Pinterest. Back to Pinterest. Um, if you want to really <laughs> capitalize, don't stay up all, late all night. <laughs> um, if you really want to capitalize on Pinterest, the three places that I highly, highly recommend you put your keyword is when you upload, oh, hello, uh, Spanish lover. What's your name? Uh, Spanish lover 86. Um, so three ways. Can anybody tell me the three ways? JC, Spanish, oh. Hi, JC, how are you? What part of the world are you in? <laughs> I love it, all the hearts. Um, double tap the screen if you guys wanna give hearts. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm uh, near Niagara Falls in Canada as well. So we're relatively close. Relatively. <laughs> um, yes, I am. Nuttied and happy. Actually, my husband's watching this uh, Periscope now, which is fun. Yeah, we're getting snow right now um, as well, which I'm not a fan of. I'm originally from Atlanta, so uh, this snow stuff is not my jive but you know show us the snow i can't i'm in my office right now uh but if you guys go follow me on snapchat i have some snaps of there outside where you can see the snow um so my snapchat snapchat handle is online drea same as here um and my pups were playing in the snow yesterday so i i still think those are up because it was last night it's not been 24 hours yet but Okay, so nobody knows the three ways to optimize your pins on Pinterest, so I'll remind you one more time before we uh, end this lovely scope on this wonderful Wednesday. Um, so the three ways you optimize your pins for Pinterest, number one is when you upload your pins, make sure that the file name has your keyword. Number two is when you are typing out your caption for the pin, add your keyword in there naturally. And number three is to pin it to boards that have your keyword on it as well. And this really helps maximize anything that you're doing on Pinterest, especially if you're in the e-commerce space. It really, really helps to have things um, optimized. Uh, so, anybody have any questions about Pinterest? If you do have further questions, I actually posted a video on YouTube um, yesterday that talks a little bit more um, that girl life hey how are you girl what's your name actually um, sorry I keep forgetting would the file name also be the alt text yes yes that's how it works on Pinterest just like when you're uploading to say like WordPress or something your file name turns into the alternative text on Pinterest um, and it, it actually has a really heavy weight when you're doing, uh, when people are searching for things, say, um, like I use this example in my YouTube video, say you're searching for a tool skirt. If that tool skirt is in your file name, that really, really helps with the optimization of Pinterest search as well. Um, so it does, it treats it as an alternative text. Um, 
Same thing, but it maximizes it when you add it to the caption, you pin it to a board that has the keyword and that kind of stuff as well. Um, and then if there's a certain word that you're trying to rank for on Pinterest, also having those keywords or phrases in your bio and actually in your name can really help with that as well. What is the benefits of Pinterest use? Um, signature lawn care. Um, are you local or do you ship products worldwide? Um, in one country, signature lawn care, um, because Pinterest works really well for worldwide. Um, if you want to do local, I would suggest getting into um, Pinterest advertising, because that could really help narrow it down to a local market, otherwise you're broadcasting to the whole world. Signature lawn care. I'm not sure where you're located, um, but it can really help your local. Um, so I, I would suggest doing Pinterest advertising if you want to market to the locals. Um, another way to use Pinterest is becoming a source uh, for people to find information about lawn care. Mm -hmm. So if you're selling lawn care products, then it really helps if you are publishing blog posts, you're producing content and that sort of stuff, so that when this information is getting shared on Pinterest, people can refer back to you as the source, the ultimate source for this information, right, for lawn care. Um, otherwise, Pinterest may not be a good platform for you unless you start selling products online. That's really where Pinterest gets the, mo the maximal use. Um, for your service, I would stick with Facebook or Instagram. Those work really well, especially the visual part of taking care of your lawn. If you constantly feed your fans that visual aspect of um, you know, beautiful lawns and well-manicured yards and that sort of thing, it could really help. Uh, you don't sell any products. Yeah, so uh, Pinterest may not be ideal for you at this stage in your business. I would not invest too much time there yet. Um, you may want to look at Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that, um, maximizing tools like Yelp and TripAdvisor. Yeah, get some reviews up online. That's, that's where you should spend your time. Yeah. Any more questions about Pinterest? This is oh so Pinteresting. <laughs> I like using that word a lot, Pinteresting, and I don't know why I do the, the shoulder shrug with it, Pinteresting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, signature long care. I hope that uh, helps. And yes, Brent, I love being punny. It's so much fun. I don't know. Why not have fun? Okay, you guys, I am going to sign off for the day. I am here scoping every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, this same time, wherever you are in the world. I am more than happy to answer all of your questions. Signature Lawn Care, I answered yours. That Girl Life, I answered yours. Um, Willie was on here asking questions as well. So wherever you guys are in the world, I'm here at this time every Wednesday answering questions about social media, digital marketing, blogging, and content marketing, okay? I will see you guys on the flip side. Hopefully I'll see some of you on Snapchat. And uh, bye for now.